happening today and tomorrow. The noble art of self-defense is perhaps never more nobly demonstrated than in judo, correct modern term for the more widely known word jiu-jitsu. George Chu, policeman at Buckingham Palace, demonstrates the art. Both men are internationals and hold the coveted black belt, insignia of top honors in judo. Judo has its own strict code of behavior and has supplanted all other forms in Japan. Now George Chu consents to be blindfolded. Occasion is the reopening of the London School of Judo, organized by the South London Judo Society. Being blindfolded seems no handicap to George, for the true purpose of judo is not so much tricks and holes as the development of a sixth sense of body movement that anticipates attack and turns it to advantage. This looks like something really ugly. But holes are so designed that resistance brings injury or unconsciousness, and that finishes off the job. Because height, weight, and strength, though useful, are not essential, judo can be practiced by women, boys, and men of all stages of physical fitness. Aris Denel and Kay Harrell show you just how useful they can be at it. You please come closer, and over my shoulder goes one hefty male. But the first thing the judo pupils learn is how to fall. With this young lady, it's a mighty useful asset. In South London, they practice it as an exhilarating exercise. But in the process, they learn how to overpower, injure, or even exterminate an assailant. You can always bow to him afterwards.